dogs were in kennels, stacked three high. Um, dogs that are on the top are urinating and defecating on the dogs underneath. Just a terrible, terrible situation. The sheriff, the prosecutor, and a local police chief announcing a horrific animal abuse case that is sure to make you cringe. They call it one of the worst cases they have ever seen. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Wolfolk. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. Police say they found more than a dozen dead dogs and 44 more living in cages all inside a Burton home. Two people currently face charges. A warning here. The details in this story are quite disturbing. Here's been Michigan Now's Kyle Macon. I'm here at LaZelle Avenue in Burton, where police say they found multiple dogs, both living and dead, inside the house behind me. It was a scene described as so gross that they had to send out the hazmat team. They told 911 that the smell was so horrific that they thought that there was a dead body in the house and the smell was permeating off of the, the people that lived here. Burton Police Chief Brian Ross says thanks to an MTA Your Ride passenger, they were led to this home. When they went inside, they found 49-year-old Patricia Stone and her son living amongst feces and 13 dead dogs. There was a obvious hoarding situation here. There was garbage everywhere, clothes everywhere. Uh, the dogs were mixed in throughout wherever they could find an area to put a cage. Burton police say the owner was allegedly breeding small dogs. Some dead animals were found on the basement floor and others were in a freezer. The police chief uh, notified me that evening of the deplorable conditions that were here. Immediately we reached out, uh, reached out to our code enforcement officer who paid a visit to this home, condemned it, the house is condemned, it's unlivable at this point. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says Stone and her son will face charges for cruelty to 25 or more animals, allowing animals to suffer in failure to dispose of a dead animal. I do believe that the uh, younger of the two, the son, uh, has some mental health issues, those will be explored in the courts. Certainly the young man will have to be sent to the forensic center for an examination as to his competency and or criminal responsibility. The Genesee County Sheriff's Office says most of the dogs are infected with the Parvo virus. The department reminds people that when taking care of animals becomes too much, there are services to help you. Now for the dogs, they are being taken care of by the Genesee County Animal Control with the hopes of getting them back on their feet and into a new home. Reporting in Burton, Kyle Macon, Mid-Michigan Now.